Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be inspecting the Bournemouth squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. If you're wondering what I look like, I've been compared to this cheeky chap. If you don't believe me, that gives you much more reason to subscribe, as in amongst my other content, I pretty much always show my face at one stage or another, just not these videos, as one is getting pretty late, and B, I'm not wearing too much, and my face and hair are all over the place. Anyway, enough of wasting your time, let's jump straight in with the start of this video. That's right, folks, if you do plan on taking on Bournemouth. Here's a quick glance at some of the key aspects of Bournemouth. Um, realistically, as as in the 2017-2018 campaign, Bournemouth have started pretty pretty shitty and are at the bottom end of the table. I think they're in the drop zone right now. Um, so maybe a bit of a refreshing change with uh, Eddie Howe out the way and me stepping up into his place. But anyway, let's just jump straight in and hit the home screen. Take a quick look at some of the stuff fixtures already lined up looks like you're going on tour to some scandinavian country what else have we have uh but yeah obviously the brand new squeaky clean season nothing's really kicking off here let's go take a look at your financial situation your financial clout for the season currently set at 40 million pound uh transfer budget 90 percent of any transfer revenue that you do acquire will be pumped back into the squad you can adjust that should you like it looks pretty capped out to be uh maxed out to be honest with you you might be able to push up to 15 um but that does reduce your wages which are currently set at one million and fifty five thousand pounds per week you do have a scouting budget of 720. um oh, obviously bournemouth shot up through the rankings or through the through the league structure into the premier league they do have a pretty decent um you've set up let's take a quick gander at some of them here um there's no real standouts for me I, I i'm pretty unfamiliar of bournemouth i am a rovers fan so that's that's my bread and butter uh key let's have a take a look at the most expensive youngster will dennis 18 year old goalkeeper he looks to hope to hope to push his way into the senior squad um within the next year or so because he is actually knocking on the door now 18 years old we've got this young italian fella zino ibsen rossi i think he's a defender i think i caught a quick glance of that center back um yeah anyhow let's go take a look at some of the more mature fellas quite an extensive under 23 setup how many goalkeepers do you guys have on your books three six seven 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 uh Keepers, Fed Fed Federici, he's pretty f familiar. Olslop, where where's he at? He's on loan, it appears. On loan at Blackpool, that's why it looks familiar. Uh, Ramsdale, youngster, Jordan Holmes on the transfer list. A couple of other players on loan. Where's the one I'm I'm very keen to look at? Uh, um, you obviously Rovers fans will know where I'm going on this one, but it must be. He must be in the first team. Anyhow, quite an extensive under-23 squad. Let's take a look at the most expensive players in the under-23s. Looks like a couple of reserves. Uh, first teamers have been dumped in the under-23s. Max Gradle valued knocking on 18 million. Lewis Graben, I think he's now on loan uh, with Leeds, perhaps. Where is he at? He is on loan at Sunderland. That's right. Uh, Federici is probably the most valuable under 23, but he's not really under 23, is he? He's 32 years old. Lise Mousset, 2.7 million, 21 years old, French star, one for the making. He wants wanted by Charlton and Peterborough of League One. Royce Wiggins, left back, 2.1 million. Again, he is 29 years old. So a lot of, a lot of, uh, I would consider Deadwood floating around in your uh, under 23s. Might as well want to consider flogging them bad boys. So let's take a look at the main meat of the squad here. Just going to get this reorganized. I don't like him all over the place. Again, you still got two quality keepers. Uh, Arta Boric, 37 years old. Will he make it to the World Cup for Poland? I don't know. Here he is. Conor Mahoney, 3.4 million. Sign on a freebie. Joins Joshua Kinn as ex-rovers in your 
in the uh, Bournemouth lineup. Brad Smith, uh, he's wanted by Stoke. Hydman, wanted by Wolves. Afobi, wanted by Brighton and Everton. Who is the most valuable player on the books? Harry Arter, £22.5 million. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Callum Wilson, also £22.5 million. Begovic uh, and Joshua King, not too far away. Who's the tallest? Who's the tallest out of curiosity? Begovic, 6.6. Six Tyro Mings, just behind him at 6.5. Uh, decent bunch of players. What about contract situations? Press the wrong button there. Let's have a look. Yep, Boric, 37-year-old, probably going to be either moving on to some pastures new. Mark Pugh, valued at 8.75. His contract's up at the end of the season, so that's something you might want to check out. Some heavy hitters. Begovic, 70 grand a week for Bournemouth. Redonkulous. Anyhow, let's push forward. What does the board got to say? Um, confidence. Obviously, it's going to be pretty uneventful at the moment. Just took over. Uh, club. Quick scan of the bits and pieces there. Still trying to find my way through. Um, okay. So... This is what uh, the board expect of me. They want me to avoid relegation in the Premier League. They want me to reach the uh, fifth round of the FA Cup and the fourth round of the Cabarero Cup. Obviously, clubs like Bournemouth look to the Car Carabaro Cup to get themselves into Europe, perhaps. So look at the team report. Again, uh, feel free to pause this and have a good old read yourself. A lot of text here for me to go over. Um, squad depth. This is a lie right here. You guys have got keepers coming at your ears. Uh, right back looks like an area that could do with strengthening. Perhaps you could sell some of that dead wood in the uh, under 23s. Um, pretty strong forward line. Obviously, current, uh, Jermaine Defoe coming in over the summer does boost your ranks there. Uh, realistically, though, you're going to be looking to battle for promote, uh, relegation. Um, and, I, and I'm pretty confident Bournemouth will do all right. Let's get a look at the squad dynamics. Again, feel free to have a have a pause and read there. Social groups. In fact, nope. Hierarchy. Let's take a look at your hierarchy. Your three potential captains. Simon Francis, Sermon, and Steve Cook. Then we've got a whole bunch of uh, players that's considered highly influential. This is your second fiddle, second bunch of uh, players. Should any of these three, or all three, move on to pastures new, this is probably where your next captain will come from. Social groups, big core of players. Um, any youngsters out there that you're looking to for to um, for a mentor? This this bunch of players. Uh, obviously, if it's a goalkeeper, you want to be for Begovic or Bor Boric. If it's a striker, you're going to be looking at Defoe, Afobi. You know, obviously you would want you would try and pair them up with a similar or a potentially similar kind of player. Happiness. Let's have a look at the core happiness. Everyone seems to be in good spirits, obviously, because it's Bournemouth. And Bournemouth are a good, happy bunch of players. And uh, they are, in all fairness, batting above their stanchion. Um, and, you know, well credit to them. They, they, they've run their football club um, the right way. And uh, they're reaping the benefits for it. Um, so that's pretty much all I have here. Uh, anything else? I'm still trying to figure it all out myself. Um, what am I on? Am I on a £22,000 a week contract? That is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. In fact, that is it. In fact, that's all I've got. Well, that's pretty much all I have for you for today. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I do plan to do every Premier League team over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there in the wilderness, maybe in China, Japan, America, France, 
anywhere around the world and you want me to, to give you an overview of please screw it down in the comments below and i'll try and do my best and get one out there for you moving forward once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of fm18 calms down i do plan to do some game saves i have a couple of epic ones in the pipeline so please be sure to stick around so until next time thanks for watching please like share and subscribe check back for more fm content over the next few days as for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.